Yes, I don't feel like that uh, training, such as it is, has been in any way beneficial because I won't use it in the actual game because there's there's no real need to... Activate both elevators. Okay. Oh! Oh! Uh... Oh good! There's some weird chuby stuff going on. Oh, good! We have a maze! So we go through... Ah, do we want to drop all the... Like maybe we'll want to drop all the vent great things first of all and then we can yeah we do this place is confusing I guess that's the point. It's quite cool, even if it makes zero actual sense. I assume we're going to have to fight somebody here? No? Right, that's that opens. Somebody has very foolishly left an area up here to explore. But I'm hoping... Oh, great. That looked like a data disk. It was a data disk. Can we... Okay. Um. Yeah. 
Yes, right. That's where it has to go to. Ah, no. If we turn the blue ones off, that turns red on, doesn't it? Yeah. Thinking, Demogen, thinking. Okay. So we need to get... We need to get this up to the second floor to start off with. Which we can do like that. Okay, that brings that down to... No, we want that to stay there. But now we want to go all the way around to open up the red. I know. We want to turn this to blue. We want to come down. We want the lift to go down. This might be right. Now we want this to go to red. That will get us onto there. That will get us up here. That will get us through there. And that'll get us onto the lift. Then we can go up here. Turn this to that. Go down. Take the elevator back up. No. No. Elevator doesn't need to go up. Elevator is where it needs to be. In fact, we just need to do this. Whoop. Ching. Data disk. 49.28%. Of Torch Tower. Upper Torch Tower. Okay, so that's that half. And that was a secret. Yeah, which dropped us out back there. Okay, to the other half.
which has a save point. So we've now got two data discs. I wonder how many we're going to need for this special ability. Oh. That looks cool. Oh, it's flying time. Whoa, that was lucky. Okay, that will do. Uh huh. Oh, we've got lasers now. Because of course we have. Uh. There we go. Oh, there's stuff on the ceiling there. You Muppets. Right, what will that do? Okay. Straight down the middle. There's the seed. Ooh, okay. So close. Gotcha. Final plant seed gets. Bzz. This way because we'll be able to take the elevator back sweet take the elevator to the top uh, this. Oh, well, this one's clearly a secret, isn't it? Whoa! Okay. Rotates the shielding. Oops. Uh, 
No, that's not going to work. Oh, that's electrified as well. That works. Piggy bank! Is it the final piggy bank of the game? Could well be. I've got a really itchy ear. Mm, there we go. Right, I guess... I don't think that's how I'm supposed to have done that, but... No. Oh well, at least it doesn't close after it. Obtained a data disk. Nice. This will take us to the punch door. Yep. Blunk. This will take us back to the elevator. Bloop. This will let me save my game. Down we go. But we have a plant seed to hand in. And I'm assuming a mysterious shard to acquire. And then we will go to the ancient complex and unlock a new skill on our skill tree board thing. I am 75% confident. Hey, how do you like my... That this is how it's going to work. Screw you, Master Wu. Um... Welcome to Jingle Dish... Thank you for your business. You're welcome. You found all of them. Found it so quickly? Wow! This is a new seed I don't have. They are very pretty, and I do oh, like it when you get collectibles that fill up the background. It's like the um the Oshery in Blasphemous. All right. That's every last one of the seeds. How do you know? What will you do with these seeds? You might not know this, but the planet used to have many huge trees as tall as 200 rabbits. <laughs> there used to be forests and wheat fields as far as the eye can see. That will take a long time. Uh, that's not what is said there. When the legion came, all of the green plants full of life were uprooted and gradually disappeared. They say that an old prophet secretly hid away the surviving seeds. The same seeds that you have been looking so hard for. I'll carefully cultivate them until they can grow into great trees. That will take a long time. That's where that voice line comes in. I know that the trees will take longer than a lifetime to grow. I'm only one Pippin, but there will be a Pippin Jr. and a Pippin Jr. Jr. If thousands upon thousands of Pippins continue to look after them, our dream will come true one day. When that day comes, the sunrise from the treetop should be absolutely breathtaking. Uh-huh. That day will come. Thank you. Enlightener! I'll go look after the seeds now. Shit. That was not a mysterious shard. Uh, yeah. 
So where's the final piece? Hey, there... The director of the Enlightened is a legend and poet in the film industry. His movies feel different every time you watch them. The Enlightened. How do you like my... Ah, that's got the shiny. So that will go with... That one. Yeah, so that there are sets of a sort. Um... Ah, that's thrown me. Another potential option. My noodles are famous and classic chili noodles. It's possible that the final piece will be from him. Yes. Hmm. Good noodles. Great food that is cheap and keeps you coming back. For Let's go and see. Because I don't know how much more of the tower there is. There could be a whole two other floors with a mysterious thing up there. Or the elevator could just take us to a boss fight, so... And... Survive the ambush! Execution. Ow. Execution. I love the fact, actually, that the execution moves can damage the other people around them. Oh. Uh, I'd love for the execution prompt to actually show up, but it's not, so... Get out of here. Ooh, you guys. I haven't seen you in a while. Ooh. Oh no, lasers! Lasers are good. Ow. Nah. Smash! Woohoo! Oh dear. Yeah, it really annoys me. Oh. They've dropped the side out now. That's not how I meant to do that. Ha. <laughs> Oh. OK, 
Okay. This is going to be... Ow! Man, stop punching me off the freaking... Survived the ambush. Okay. Is there going to be another save point up here? There is. This has got a distinct end feeling though, hasn't it? Huh. No. Okay, that's our end game choice. Um Yeah, so that's our point of no return, which means that somewhere there is a final mysterious shard piece. The question is, where the hell is it? Because I actually can't... I mean, we've, we've uncovered all but what I'm assuming is the final room. So... Where... Where could it be? Right. That is 3,000 cash. If this isn't what we need... The only other thing that I can think of is if we can get the 100% on Torch Tower and die and come back. But that doesn't strike me as good design. Welcome to Jingles' shop. Golden Rain. Thank you for your business. Ray, Come on, then. There you are. The protagonist's mind battle against the antagonists in Golden Rain is a real mind twister. His IQ <laughs> must be a match for old Urso. <laughs> How do you like my paint job? Huh. Four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven for each. Ray, they even Cicero is no match for you. Well, shit. Ah, we haven't collected all posters. Oh, God. They're not marked on the map. Oh, no.
Oh, I wonder how many there are. I wonder how many I found. Huh, so we need to do the barrel smashing challenge. Let's be done. Well, that was 30, but... Oh, no, that was it. That's a good hit, Chief Ray. Okay. So, no reward for that. And with the percentage only being for map uncovering... This poster could be anywhere because there's no clue whatsoever. And same goes for this this shard piece. It, it could literally be anywhere. And there's n nothing at all on the map to help clue us in. Now, all I can say for certain is that we've got all of the plant seeds. We've got all of the combo training done. And that's it. I can't say anything else for certain because the map doesn't offer that extra clarity on it. With your training, you'll ruin them. Better ruling than having the fight beaten out of you by the Iron Dogs. Even if they get beaten, it's still better than hiding out in the city. We didn't beat the Iron Dogs because we didn't fight hard enough. Train hard and fight harder on the battlefield. Hmm. How many reps did these kids do? Hmm. Looks like we did count to here. Get out of here, Bunny. Don't interfere with the training. Here, take this and get out of here. Don't interfere with our training anymore. All right, so that's where the red one is. I just can't think of anything else that will help. Oh. Ray, you are now the first diamond foodie at Chuan's noodle shop. Here is a member's reward to show my appreciation. Not even Urso has it yet. Now your old Chuan here is going to create a special bowl of noodles for his first diamond foodie. I'll make something extraordinary out of these ordinary ingredients. Believe me, it'll be a wild success. Okay. I'm working on my own secret... Is this going to be? It's not going to be another poster, is it? Hey, there you I love food movies. Woof woof. How do you like my paint? Yeah, so that's the gold set. So it is a thing. That sets are a thing. Shiny. Very shiny. Right. Uh, easiest way of getting... people to say new things...
is changing zones. I assume that counts as having changed zones. Because it's on a different coloured map. Because I need to see how much money to farm up. What you are now. Ray, my special limited edition recipe. Cabbage soup noodles is available today. 888. Oh, jeez. Great food that is cheap and keeps you coming back. Cheap, you say? Yeah, it would be cheap if the game wasn't bugged in places and kept eating money. Ugh. Right. Farming time. Woo! I'm hoping this is the final map Ray, my special thing. Limited edition recipe. Can Eight hundred and eighty-eight. Delicious. Please let this be it. Oh. Excellent. Hey, a fragment. Must be some kind of treasure. You must have scored a win for supporting Chuan's noodles. <laughs> Much appreciated. Could have given that us uh, uh, there. Could have given that to us before. Now, what I have to hope for is that this is 100% through here. Because if it isn't, I'm going to be really peed off. There we go. A transformer. And... Key explosion. Press triangle and circle together to use key explosion. Requires at least 3 SP. Slows down time and allows unlimited SP skills. Oh. Well, that is a thing. And that, thank Christ. Oh, and that's actually unlocked the little bit of the map down there as well. Okay, thank God for that. Doesn't explain how we get 100% of Upper Torch Tower, though. Unless we can come out of there after... Still haven't got all of the posters, though. Map post. Map hey, it's Ray. You went somewhere new, I right? did. Let me have a look. Oh, the ancient complex has been explored. It has. Here's a token of my appreciation. You must take it, Ray. The next time you visit a new place, Ray, be sure to come. Yeah, so we, we must be able to unlock the map in Upper Torch Tower and then somehow not be point of no return -y. Regardless of what it actually says. Because it, it, it is the only place that we've got, but it's not 100%. And he's still saying that, you know, go to other places. Bum bum. What the? Uh, okay. Not entirely sure why it did that. So, question. So, uh, so why do I have three data disks?
Why are there three more than there need to be? That's weird. Torch City, but you refuse to change. The spark is the only power that Torch City can rely on. By seeking the power of an object, you've already lost what truly matters. Ow. Oh, the delay on that was kind of annoying. It looks like he's got a Oh, he's got his That's a spin round Yeah, I'll just let myself get hit by that one And that. Oh, I'll just jump into that. Oh. No, it would seem so. And interestingly, that does not give, does not let us keep the hundred percent. So we've got to beat him, I guess. I was going to let the final boss fight play out in full. But then I saw how long it actually took me to beat him, which was about 30 minutes. And therefore, you've got a thousand times speed sped up instead. Because quite frankly, I found this boss incredibly aggravating. I had an awful lot of very low percentage wipes down to two main reasons one the parry is very very hard to do and i feel like it could have worked an awful lot better and could have been an awful lot more fun and the second reason and in fact the reason why i died the most is because it's really really hard to see what's going on a lot of times Cicero has a lot of big, flashy, glowy effects, and they look really, really cool watching the video footage back. But when you're actually playing the game and trying to figure out what's going on and trying to pick up the cues and trying to make sure that you don't get hit by anything, it's actually incredibly difficult for me to really get a read on what it actually is that he's doing. So, yeah... I, I got really, really frustrated with the fight just because I couldn't tell what was going on a lot. And having to watch the cutscene, albeit, yes, you can skip through the dialogue, you still have to press the button multiple times to get it working. And every time we start the fight, it switches to the fist, regardless of whether you've got any other weapon equipped. And that was really annoying as well. It just adds to a... An unnecessary sense of frustration with control disconnect but i honestly do feel that you know this could be a really really good fight if they still add the weapon switching do something about the parry and 
just make it easier to tell what's going on. Got you! Yeah, but no. And then what? Become the Legion puppets for all eternity? This kind future is, is worth fighting for. You win, Brayton. Yes. His eyes cool. Bloop 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 bloop. A flawed game. Some good exploration. Some ambitious combat limited by. Not particularly great design choices, especially as regards the parry, which I think would have been a really cool tool if it was on an actual button as opposed to on a directional tap. I just don't think that's very good design, frankly. Uh, it felt like the game wanted to be a fighting game. And 99% of the time, there was no need for it to have that kind of complexity. The... The training actually was the only time when realistically any of that stuff was was necessary because it wasn't necessary in the main game. Maybe you could have pulled it off against the main boss or the bosses, but probably not because they move and teleport around as opposed to the training dummy, which does exactly what it should do and stays where it is. The translation was so-so. 50-50, good versus dodgy. The collection element was great. The bugs for um, the shops meant that I had to extend my playtime by probably an extra 45 minutes to an hour where I had to go and farm up a load of money because of the uh, the keys eating, eating my cash but not giving me actual keys. The characters were interesting. Um, again, writing could have been better on those, but, you know, generally speaking, they were interesting. Um, Lady Q actually died by the look of it, I guess. Um, I suspected she was going to come back rather than just dying off screen. Um, I don't really feel a sense of resolution to the plot unless there's an after credit scene that will help with that it it just doesn't necessarily feel like a very satisfactory ending yes we we, we beat cicero and we've got the spark and now what I, i'm not entirely sure um yeah it was an experience that felt just a little bit padded by slightly dodgy design choices no animals were harmed in the development of this game i spent five years on it by the look of it
There we go. She is still alive. I thought she would be. Progress 99%. Right, we can now go and claim our last percentage. God knows what we're going to get for it, but I'm assuming it's going to be a poster. Or maybe we get that from Urso. One of the two. Uh, no, hold on. This is the wrong floor. <laughs> Just because we missed it last time, I'd forgotten there was a middle floor. Also, why did Rayton just leave the spark on the floor? I mean, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Where did he go? That, uh, actually, that's really dumb. That's not good writing. I mean, yes, it's cool that Lady Q is alive and we get a reveal of her, but in terms of actual logic, why on earth would Rayton leave the spark there on the floor? Map post. Map even. You went somewhere new, Ray. Oh, Upper Torch Tower has it been It has. Scored. Here's a token of my appreciation. You are amazing, right? No way but up. You've already explored the entire region. Sunday fever. I can now start making a detailed large map of Torch Tower. Uh, Thank you for that's your support, not what that Ray. says. Map post. Next to it is my father's body. Yeah, you could probably have uh, done with adding some dialogue for when we've got everything complete. Okay, that means we can go and take this back to Uso. Hey, Bear. Ray, there you are. I can't resist a good beat. Um, the move, yes. Move to the rhythm. Get into the music. Liberator, hundred percent complete. I'm not very inspired these days. Collector, it classics. So that's collected all posters. Let's take a look at the uh, the actual trophies now. So we've got that, 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 that. Liberator discovered all the secrets in the game. Wonderful. So, anti-gravity. Keep an enemy in the air for 15 seconds straight. God knows how I'm going to do that. Five powers in a row without taking damage. Yeah. Seven anchor points without touching the ground. Three enemies with one exploding puppet. Eliminated five enemies during one key explosion. Where would I even find that many numbers? Enemies. Who and knock down enemies in the air 20 times? And executed two enemies in a row without touching the ground. Everything else we've got. Either way, that is the game complete and the map 100%ed. It's a very large map, it's very sprawling. And there are some things on it that are, let's just say, a little bit convoluted to navigate. I like it, though. I do like it. So, overall thoughts on Fist Forged in Shadow Torch. They need to sort out the bugs, first of all. Admittedly, 
we haven't had the bug where we got the water bubble sound effect all the time in a couple of days. Um, the bug that eats all of your money at, uh, is it Flip? His key shop where we bought several keys. Well, no, we paid for several keys, but only got one because you're only allowed to have one in your inventory at a time. That definitely needs fixing because I, I spent a good 1500 um, cash on that. Um, I'd still really think that the enemy hitboxes should be a, a little bit smaller than they actually are when they're attacking. I would like a skip button for all cutscenes. I would like a relook at the translation of the story because it feels very rough around the edges in some places. Obviously, it's too late, really, I suspect now, to actually do any significant changes to the storyline. Um, so the, the quote-unquote logic of the ending, such as it is, or the after-credits thing, um, I doubt there's any real fix for that. Maybe it's setting up for a sequel i have i have no idea um but overall i enjoyed the game i i think it wanted to be too many things at once and it fell into the trap of put too many shiny explodey things on the the screen um uh, that made things difficult to read and it's it's knockbacks and explosions were very very aggravating um but it's it's a reasonable enough map to to get around and look for things in and there were a lot of things that i really enjoyed doing but overall i'm left with a dissatisfied taste in my mouth i'm more aggravated by the final boss for example than i am feeling oh yeah i'm you know really really good at this game and and maybe it's because of the, the the wide disparity between the basic enemies and the the bosses a, an awful lot of the enemies in the game were were just pushovers for the most part as long as they didn't have the annoying knockbacks um yeah a, a, a good game a good game lots of good things to recommend and explore but not a great game I, if I was to give a rating, and I don't really give ratings, but, you know, uh, you're looking at 7.5 out of 10. Um, it's decent. It's decent. And I do recommend it if you are looking for a Metroidvania to play, especially a long one. But I think they need to get the technical bits and pieces sorted first. Maybe pick it up on the PC when that comes out this has been damage and playing fist fortune shadow touch a solid in some ways excellent but in in several ways mediocre combat wise metroidvania pacing all over the place until next time stay safe out there let me know in the comments below what you thought of the game and how bad i was with that bus and i'll catch you all in the next one doodle pip Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.